If you are looking to buy Foot22 coins, check out u7buy.com for the cheapest prices out there. Fast delivery, safe, and if you use the code Y5K, you get yourself up to 5% off. Link in the description. Yo, what's going on guys? Y5K, welcome to a new custom tactics video on FIFA 22. Today we are taking a look at one of the best, if not the best, ultra attacking custom tactics and formation on FIFA 22. For real, this formation and custom tactics helped me to come back many and many times on the last weekend league. It's so good, so I had to make a video about it. I'll be using the 4-2-4, one of the best attacking formations, and we all know that. However, I only recommend using this formation and custom tactics if you are losing and you are on the 70th or the 80th minute, and there is no hope at all for you to come back. That's because using this custom tactics, you're gonna see your midfielders and attack always on the attack and trying to get in behind. And when you lose the ball, you're gonna see your defenders running to the ball and putting on the pressure, which can lead you to some serious defending problems. So like I said, I only recommend using this formation and custom tactics if you are losing. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, before we jump into the video, if you're not around here, don't forget to subscribe. Drop a like on this video, that will be always appreciated. And now let's jump into the custom tactics. First of all, this is the formation that I have told you about the 4-2-4. When you look at it, you know it's all about attacking. Two center mids, right wing, left wing, and two strikers. Now let's start things up with the custom tactics. Defensive style should be constant pressure, but we all know pressure can cost you a silly goal from a counter attack on FIFA 22. So if you don't want to use constant pressure, you can use press after position loss. They both do the same job, but the difference is when you use press after position loss, you're gonna see players putting on the pressure only for the first seven seconds when you lose the ball. After that, they're gonna play it cool like you are using balance. So for me and what I use is constant pressure. Now width should be 50, depth should be 65. Build up play, I'm going with fast build up, which is the best thing to use if you are losing. Chance creating, I'm going with position. Width should be 50, players in the box should be 7 or 8. Corners and free kick should be 3 or 2. With that being said, this is all for the custom tactics, let's move on into the player instructions. Starting off with the defense, although you are losing and you want to score a goal, your full back, right back and left back should stay back while attacking and let me tell you why. First of all, they can help you to get the ball quick after you lose it. Second of all, you already have a right wing and a left wing on this formation, they won't help you on the attack that much, so let them help you on the defense instead. Let's move on into the middle fielders, of course you have a right center mid and a left center mid, I recommend using box to box middle fielders, players that has got good all rounded stats so they can help you on the attack and they can intercept the ball when you lose it. For the instructions, they both should cover center only and nothing else. I don't recommend using get forward with your center mids. That's because using get forward, you're gonna see your center mid running and standing next to your striker. So you won't have anyone in the middle to intercept the ball to make a pass. Just use balance attack with your center mids and fast build up will do the job. That's all for the midfielders and the defenders. Let's move on into the attack. Starting off with the wingers. For your right wing, he should stay forward, cut inside and get into the box for cross. I don't recommend using get in behind, that's because using get in behind you're gonna see him always offside. Same goes for the left wing, he should stay forward, get into the box for cross and cut inside. Now let's move on into the strikers, of course you have got two strikers. Now for the striker who has got the better pace and shooting should be your left striker and for the striker who has got the better passing and dribbling should be your right striker. That's because your left striker is going to be getting in behind and for your right striker he's gonna be playing like a sort of a playmaker, he's gonna be assisting the attackers. For your left striker he should stay central, get in behind and stay forward, for your right striker he should stay forward only. With that being said ladies and gentlemen this is all for the play instructions and the custom tactics that I have got for you, try them and let me know in the comments below how it go with you but like I said only recommend using it if you are losing. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and let me know in the comments below what formation do you want to see next. I will see you all in the next video, peace.